Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from in Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Debrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the celebration of the National Guard on the occasion of his 20th anniversary. In the presence of Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Upon His Majesty's motorcade's arrival, he was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, BDF Chief of Staff and Senior Officers. <laughs> the national anthem was then played. His Majesty then handed flags to a number of units to start their service and wished them success in backing up their comrades at the National Guard.
عندكم انطلاق على الثلاثين After His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa handed the flags, verses of the Holy Quran were recited during the ceremony. إنا فتحنا لك فتحا مبينا ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك صراطا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما صدق الله العظيم
Commander of the Special Operations Unit, Major Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, gave a speech in which he expressed his pride and pleasure in His Majesty's visit. He congratulated His Majesty on the 20th anniversary of the National Guard. He added that the National Guard, thanks to the directives and support of His Majesty the King, has managed to reach its current level and train its affiliates to serve and protect the kingdom under the leadership of BDF Commander-in-Chief. He thanked His Majesty for handing flags, BDF units, adding that it, or it, His Majesty's expectation drives the National Guard to further enhance its abilities. At the end of his speech, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed wished His Majesty abundant health and the kingdom security and stability. عن يمين المنطقة تشكيلات رمزية من آليات وحدات الحرس الوطني في المقدمة آليات الشرطة العسكرية لأقراض المراقبة وحماية الأقتال العسكرية والمنشآت آليات الكتائب الأمنية لتقديم الإسناد الأمني في عمليات الأمن الداخلي بما توفره من الحماية ضد الأسلحة الخفيفة والمتوسطة وشظايا القنابل اليدوية بالإضافة إلى سرعة الحركة والمناورة في المناطق المبنية آليات العمليات الخاصة في المقدمة After that a clay shooting competition was held Platoon Sergeant Saleh al anizi delivered a poem on this occasion. Members of the National Guard then held a shotgun shooting display. His Majesty the King then honored a number of officers and non-commissioned officers in appreciation to their efforts exerted. He expressed his thanks for their high capabilities and efforts alongside their brothers in the National Guard. His Majesty then toured the Firearms Museum that was held especially for this occasion. He was briefed on the variety of weapons included, the content of the museum and its history. His Majesty highlighted the efforts exerted in preparing this museum, which reflects the development witnessed in the National Guard since its establishment, wishing everybody success. His Majesty the King then wrote a royal statement in the visitor's record expressing pride in the visit and the international level and the professional combat readiness reached by the National Guard, which affirms their keenness in maintaining national gains and the security of the country and its people. He also expressed deep appreciation for the sacrifices of the National Guard members and expressed his confidence in the National Guard to continue their march and efforts wishing them further success and progress and prosperity. His Majesty wished everybody success in serving the country and to achieve security as by the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain. On this occasion, His Majesty congratulated all National Guard affiliates for the 20th anniversary of the National Guard. His Majesty thanked the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, for the efforts he has exerted since the establishment of the National Guard. 
forward and praise the development it has witnessed. His Majesty also expressed thanks and appreciation to the National Guard affiliates for their dedication and preparation to perform their national duty. He lauded the high level the National Guard has reached and its readiness to answer the call of duty. He also commended their cooperation with the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, and the Interior Ministry in defending the kingdom and maintaining security. His Majesty wished the National Guard further success. The National Guard commander expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King on his patronization of the celebration. He attributed the high level of performance and organization of the National Guard. He affirmed the National Guard's commitment to defend the kingdom and its developmental and cultural gains through cooperation with Bahrain Defense Force. He added that His Majesty's visit and patronage to the celebration will motivate the National Guard to exert more efforts towards more development, wishing His Majesty abundant health and success. Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed expressed pride in the achievements of the National Guard, adding that efforts will continue to develop the National Guard units and affiliates at all levels. He congratulated all commanders, officers and members of the National Guard on the anniversary. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for their efforts in maintaining the security of the country, wishing them success and for Bahrain and its people for their development and prosperity during the era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghadabiya Palace a number of the royal family members as well as state officials. He affirmed the world's keenness on maintaining peace through international cooperation. He also noted the world's understanding of the threats that face the region's unity and security and commended some of the friendly countries' positive evaluations of the region's circumstances. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness on facilitating investments in the kingdom as well as developing the legislations and procedures in accordance with the requirements of economic development. He asserted the government's interest in diversifying the sources of income. The Prime Minister said that the government's aim is to focus on investment as the source for economic activity in Bahrain. He discussed local issues with the attendees and affirmed the importance of maintaining and preserving tradition and promoting cultural heritage tourism in the kingdom. His Royal Highness also discussed a number of topics related to developing Gulf and Arabia Corporation to deal with the threats that target the region's security and economy. The Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa was at the forefront of farewell bidders of His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, accompanied with His Royal Highness Prince Rashid bin Al Hassan after his visit to Bahrain, in which he met His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Al Sharif Jamil bin Nasser Sami Koshesh, the Jordanian charge of affairs to Bahrain and as governor of Muharraq, Salman bin Isa bin Hindi, were among his well wishers. The Ministry of Interior announced the demise of First Lieutenant Hisham Hassan Mohammed Al-Hamadi, who was shot dead in Bilad Al-Qadim. 
Police responded to the crime scene and took the necessary legal steps and the public prosecution was notified. Initial details indicate that it was a terrorist act. The deceased was off duty at the time of the shooting. The Minister of Interior on behalf of the ministry extended condolences to the family of the fallen officer and to Bahrain, praying God Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,302.37 points, marking an increase of 2.31 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly the commercial banks with 52.57% of total shares. 117 transactions included 6,317,800 shares worth 1,125,187 Bahraini dinars.